Hi everyone, this is Paolo. So I'm back for the third series of the AWS tutorials. Um, to follow up uh, from what we did last time, we launch an EC2 instance and then we launch an AWS uh, RDS instance. Um, right now what I did behind the scenes was I allocated an elastic IP to the EC2 instance. So to do that, just go back to your console click on elastic IP, uh, allocate new address, and from there allocate it to the EC2 instance. What this will do is you will get a permanent IP address. So even if you close the instance, shut it down, terminate, launch a new one, you'll still have that IP. And that IP is what I used on creating the A record on my domain. So. If I copy this, this was my old IP before, 5472. So with the new IP, elastic IP, if I paste that, I'll get the same um, EC2 instance. So to continue, uh, let's install PHP on this uh, Ubuntu server and configure it to work with Nginx. So to do that, let me launch my terminal. So let me clear this out. So I'm in my keys. I'm going to connect to the web server. So SSH, then user key, and go to, you'll log into your server. So first thing to do is get to install PHP. So you say sudo app get install PHP and say yes let's zoom that in so it's installing now cool so the version that we are more interested in is the php fpm so the fast process uh, cgi uh, fast cgi process manager so this is serving uh, php pages at least faster than traditional PHP. So let's check that it's running now. So let's see sudo systemctl and status is PHP 7.0-FPM. Okay, so it's loaded, it's running, it's active. Cool. So uh, let's exit this, hit Q. So now let's configure it to work with Nginx. So let's try going to my Nginx directory. So cd var www html. Let me list that down. Yep. So Say sudo v info php and let's insert some tags here so php and say php info and I'm going to save that file and let's load let's see what happens so info that php as you can see, it's prompting me to download the page instead of loading the PHP file. So let's fix that. Let's edit the nginx config file. So the directory for that config file is on the cd etc nginx sites available. Available. Okay. I'll list that down so there's just a default file so I'm gonna use my v editor again to uh, edit that file so this is my config file I'm gonna scroll down to this section and I'm gonna add index.php on it index.php Okay, so um, I fixed the order here to make it look readable. So I added index.php. Now let's scroll down a little bit. And you need to uncomment this line. So 
go back to my editor and comment this, this, this guy, and this guy. So you could only select one. So I'm gonna select the fast CGI pass. So I'm gonna uncomment this and keep that commented and exit and save. So I'm gonna say sudo system ctl again and then restart um, php 7.0 dash fpm and let's just start nginx so nginx and if I go back to my website now remember earlier we were on the, it was prompting to download the PHP file so if I do this uh, PHP is now installed and we're ready to serve cool so that's how you install PHP 7 on Nginx and next we'll load some files here and install WordPress if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.